Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, follow-up video to What's in the Box episode 6. Uh, so this is what I got from 70320 Aaron Fox's Aero Strike of Volume 2, Version 2, V2, I don't know. And this is what it looks like in the final result. Uh, it's a pretty complete set. The only thing that was different is one of the play features, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll just pick it up. There's actually a space at the back to pick up the vehicle. It's like a handle. And you can see that the Aaron bot sits in the back there. There's Aaron himself with his little cool little, chair. little helm there. You can see that. Beautiful. They've always got a little uh, handle on the side as well, so you can just push it up and down easily. Um, here you have his bow and arrow, which actually fires. It's a bow and arrow, what am I talking about? It's a crossbow. And you can pull that out and actually use it as a... Okay, the whole block came off. But trust me, you can pull that out. Yeah, there we go. And use it as a weapon for him. It's got a grip for him to hold. And that fires like so. Um, yeah, like so. How the hell do you do that? Okay. How does that fire? I've never fired one of these before. Oh, there we go. You just push down on that. And hopefully I will be able to find it at some point. So, um, was a complete set anyway. <laughs> well, one other cool thing to note is that the front of this vehicle actually comes out. It's held in by a clip again. And it goes into like a slide system here. Held in by a clip, like I said. Um, and here we are. You can pull the wings down at the front here. To make it look a bit cooler. Then you pick it up. landed on a barren wasteland why are my role plays always in barren wastelands the air is breathable I left up my mask ah oh, there's a creature get out of here um, yeah so here's the bad guy he's got a little crossbow as well which does fire do I need to demonstrate that one and lose that piece as well yeah why not here we go there we go. That's that gun. Even less complete set now. But he's got another one in his hand. Look. Another ammo. It's so kind of him to carry a spear. There we are. Focus. You know you want to, camera. I was winning the end. Just do it. Okay, you win this round. Um, yes, so that's that part. I'll just put the vehicle back in the front here. So you can see how that slots back in. And trying to line this up is a bit of a pain, but there we go. You lift it, have to lift up these little winglets at the front to push it in. And you clip it in. If it goes in fairly easily, push the winglets back down if you want to. And then you can pick up this. And see this little, oh, you see, see this little lever here? Well, that fires some guns right at the front there. Do you see those little blasters? Can you see I'm missing one? That's because it's, cause the set came with three of them. And I've already lost two of them. I have already, within five minutes of having this body built, lost two. I'm not even kidding you. It's in the room somewhere under various things. And I don't know where they are. But here's a demonstration of the last one. So I can lose that as well. What? Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Look where that landed. You, you couldn't repeat that in a million years, honestly. Wow. Should that be the thumbnail to this video? Thumbs up if yes. Um, anyway, so that's the mechanism. You pull that. It pushes like a lever down there. Which pushes them out at the front. Uh, and another little note is that if I can just get my hand on this and turn it upside down. These parts here are like castle walls, but put together in a very clever way to form like a cylinder. Almost like an air vent on a, an airplane. I thought was really cool. Um, aside from that, anything of note? Yes, you can store a shield there. I think that was just me though, to be honest. I don't think it's meant to go there because I had an extra shield with the set. I had to put it somewhere. I felt like I had to keep it with the set. So there it goes. And there's a little slot for the shield there. You can keep a spare um, shooter on the side here. Or another shield, I suppose. But as I've said, I've already lost the shooters. So that's game. Anyway, it was worth showing you this once it was built, I think. So, 
there you have it. Oh, and the bad guy's got some wings on his back. Because, you know, if you're going to try and escape from this thing, you need to fly. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed my episode 7 haul with the castle, that might take some time, but I will do a follow-up to it. Obviously, I'm not going to do a follow-up to the polybag episode number 5, because it's a polybag. Um, but, you know, if there's anything you want me to film, I'm happy to do it. If there's any, any of the sets I've mentioned that I have that you want to see, let me know. I've got one more haul to come, but I may not have it filmed for some time because it's at my parents' house. Um, I guess the castle's the next task for me. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.